Hey guys and welcome back for another Heart to Heart with Rended Hearts. I am LaDonia and today I am so excited to share this encouragement with you guys. Like, it's going to be amazing. Today I want to encourage you that you are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. What is a conqueror? A conqueror is a person who wins or is victorious over a place or people. Those are key words right there. Over a place or people. And we get this inspiration and we get this title from the Bible right here in Romans 8. I want to read it for you guys. Romans 8 and 31 says, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Isn't that inspiring to know that we're called more than conquerors? One, because God is on our side. If God is for us, who? Who can be against us? Who? Please tell me. Because with God, you are the majority. And with God, it's like you have a special secret weapon in place. And secondly, it tells us that we have Jesus Christ interceding on the side of the Father for us. So you know, we live in a society that is, it's who you know is when you're going to get advanced and be successful. Well, guess what? You know Jesus Christ, and he is speaking on your behalf. He is interceding for you. He is calling your name in situations where he knows that you are going to benefit from it. Isn't that amazing? All of this, this makes us more than conquerors. How can you be more than a conqueror? Me and the ladies, we talked about this the other day. How can you be more than a winner? If you win, then you win. You can't win more than you already won, but yes, you can. Because when you are more than a conqueror, you win from the start. That sounds like cheating, huh? <laughs> but you win from the start. And this is because we already know how this battle is going to end. So there is nothing that can separate us from Christ's love. It says, not hardship, not persecution. There's a lot going on in our world today that can make us feel like you're all alone and you have to deal with this by yourself, but there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. Not famine, not nakedness. Sometimes we feel like we don't have anything that we are just wandering around in this world trying to figure things out, but you don't have to because you have Jesus at the right hand of the Father calling your name in situations that will benefit you. Nor danger, nor sword. You may feel like your life is being threatened, you may feel unsafe, but you have a God who is there, who is going to win in the end. Don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. 
you are more than a conqueror. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the empowerment and the grace that you have given us to walk this life with victorious victory, God. Father, we accept the name that you have called us as more than conquerors. We accept this place in our lives where we can dominate the circumstances that try to dominate us because we know that you are on our side and with you, we are the majority. Father, lighten the hearts of those who feel heavy this morning, lighten the load so that they know that they are not alone, so that they know that there is a, someone interceding on their behalf daily so that they can be successful and victorious. Father, we thank you that the battle is already won and we thank you that we are on the winning side. Father, continue to be with us as we go through this day. Let us not forget when the troubles come, when the trials and the tribulations come, let us not forget that we are more than conquerors through you and through you alone. We cannot do it on our own. We need you. And with you, we will be conquerors. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for walking with us and sharing with us on this day new revelation to who we are as we accept it, as we walk in it, and as we trust you in it in our lives. Amen. Guys, I hope you enjoy your day and that you come back next week and share with us what is it that you enjoy about these heart-to-heart -heart sessions. Bye.